Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Extinction. Gonna be looking for an enforcer today. Try to get a good drop on a blueprint. See if we can get us a little, uh, little mount out of one. So the thing is, you have to find them. And the higher level they are, the better. And then they drop a blueprint that you can build in that city terminal right there. That thing kind of acts like an obelisk is what it is for the most part. So there's, they're kind of scattered all throughout the city here. Uh, only in the city. So we're going to see if we can't locate a decent level one. Here's some over here. And then the Argentavis should be good for killing them. We do get a bunch of scrap metal and element and electronics. So it's good to use the Argentavis because he has that high carry weight, you know. And it actually will help out with the um, us getting metal. Because it gives you that, that weird scrap metal. It acts just like regular ingots. So, oh, that was a level 80. What? Didn't realize it was that high. Only thing is you have to jump off every time to, to get the blueprint. So let's take a look. Show you what they are. So for this one, so you only get one craft per each one. This one will turn out to be a level 76. And then it'll tell you the health percent. So you get 45% uh, on health. Stamina is going to be 65, 80 for energy, 30 for weight, and 25 for damage. So it's not too bad, and they're fairly easy to craft. The main thing that you need is the element dust. And then the other thing is you can get some that are ascendant versus mastercraft, and you kind of need to look at the levels because the ascendant one's going to be a lot more resources to craft, but you might have the same level in a mastercraft, which costs a lot less. So it's definitely something to take a look at. I don't know if it's changed, but back whenever I played before, they were, if you had the same levels and the same bonuses, it didn't matter if it was a Sin or Mastercraft, other than the requirements for building for materials. So level 76 blueprint, that is not bad. We're gonna kill a couple more of these, and it kind of helps out because, like I said, we need the parts for it. That was only level 15. It's almost not worth it grabbing the blueprints. Because, yeah, see, that's just, it's so low on the, the health and stamina and all that good stuff. We can take out some of these uh, posts while we're here, too. We'll probably do that afterwards to grab the last of the resources. So apparently they added in so you get stuff from killing these. You used to not get any resources from it. Let's take out a couple and see what we get. It's probably going to be the same stuff. I'm hoping to get some oil because I don't remember where to get oil at on this map. Oh my gosh, the health these things have. I mean, we are only doing 118 damage. I definitely need to get that up quite a bit higher. Nice. Okay. Oh, we did get some oil. Awesome. Wait, did we get meat too? No, I think meat is just stuff that I had. Oh, dude, look at the, uh, look at the levels we got from those guys, though. Dude, so much oil, too. 200 oil. Well, <laughs> we're going to be set on oil real good. Let's go ahead and get his health while we got that regen bonus going. And we're going to put some into weight because we're going to be pretty heavy here. Actually, I just put them all into weight for right now. There should be some beaver dams on this little stretch of river here. Might as well get that some mini pace while we can. Oh, a 115. Dude, this might be the level that we need. Hopefully he drops a really nice blueprint and hopefully it's going to be Mastercraft. So these guys have a, a thing called Blink where they teleport uh, whenever you get them. So it makes it really useful for having a high level ones. You get more Blink, blink uh, points. I think you can have a, up to five. Oh, dude. Boy, I tell you what. Anybody else? All right, let's grab this blueprint real quick. So that's an ascendant one, so it is going to be really, really... Ah, oh, see, see the requirements on this? It's like 12,000 dust versus 5,000. It's a, it's a big difference. So we got to compare the stats. So he gets 100% damage, 90% on health. Stamina, energy, and weight are lower 
Nope, there are more. Energy is a little bit different. Energy is... Yeah, a little bit more on this one. That's still a really good blueprint, though. Get rid of some of this junk, because we are going to be overweight here pretty quick. Alright, let's try to find a couple more, and then we'll head back to base. Oh, let's get some of this cementy paste. Dude! Alright. Dude, there's one right there! I didn't realize it! Oh, get on the bird! <laughs> Mistakes were made! Here's another victim. He's only level 45, but heck, you never tell what they're gonna drop. Plus, we need the resources for building. Yeah, so this one's got pretty low stats on it. It's only an apprentice one, too. I think that one that's the level 110 that we have, I think that's going to be the one that we're going to end up building. Let's head back over towards base. We'll empty stuff out, kill any enforcers along the way, and then I'm going to need to harvest a lot of resources so we can try to build one of these today. Oh, that was a really low level one. Go ahead and clean all of our stuff out of here. Dude, this metal, oh my gosh. It's going to make it so much easier. I forgot how much you get from killing those things. Throw that in there. Let's go ahead and drop the blueprints just in here, even though we can't build them. We're pretty stocked up on some mini pace as well. Add a folder and keep all this stuff separate. Make it easier to deal with. So these nodules, you can't really do much with them if you're not going to use them right now. Because they do... It's just like organic polymer. They're going to disappear, so... Only farm them when you need them. And these are the, the scrap metal ingots you get from these. So they don't stack with these, but... You know, like I said, you can use them in the exact same way. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and farm up some more of the resources. I'll show you real quick what you can get dust from. So these right here, lampposts. You can just hit them. Like I said, if you have a dodic, it helps out a lot because they get a lot more. So any of these. And then there's some benches. Let's see if I can remember where they're at. Yeah, then right over here, there's some nice uh, tables and stuff. And you can get a ton of metal from those, or metal, uh, dust and stuff from these. So benches, tables, and light posts are definitely what you want to be hitting up. I mean, just that little bit we had there. We're already up 1,200, and we need like 12,000. So I got a little bit, little bit of ways to go. I'm going to go ahead and work on this, and uh, we'll come back as soon as I'm ready to build the, the enforcer. All right, so it's going pretty well, getting the the stuff up that we need. We're at uh, a little over 3,000, but I want to show you something. Something that we haven't seen on the other maps that are on all the official normal maps, like the paid DLCs, there's Explorer Notes. So Explorer Notes will boost your XP gain for, I think it's 10 minutes or so. But if you open one while you're on a mount, he actually gets the XP bonus too. And this is one of the ones here. So I don't think we can... Yep, there we go. So it brings up some stuff, tells you about it, and all that good stuff. If you care about reading them. But you can see up in our right-hand corner, we got a huge XP boost going for 600 uh, seconds, which is about 10 minutes. So anything you kill, you get tons of XP for. So it's definitely worth it if you have a new team that you're really wanting to level up and that you're going to be keeping a lot of. Definitely get one of those, and then you get a ton of points off of it. So anyways, I'm going to go back to farming. Just saw it since I found one. I would show you what they're all about. All right, so we ran into a slight problem. One, I didn't realize that I needed to smelt down so much metal. <laughs> so I've got pretty much all the stuff except for the corrupted nodules. 
because those are, you know, time limited. They do go bad after so long, so that's the last thing we'll get. But I do have to wait for the metal to smelt, but we can't build this one in here. We don't have enough slots, so we only got 60 slots, and the corrupted nodules alone that we'll be using instead of polymer is like 39 slots, which we still got to fit metal in here, so we're not going to be able to do that one. So let's take a look at this one. It's a lower level, but it'll be good to, you know, play around with. We should be able to do this one because it uses a lot less of the crystal and dust. So let's go ahead and... Where's my bird? Let's get him close. We'll remove some of this stuff. And I actually might have enough metal smelted up. How much does it need? 642. I might be able to get that one done a lot quicker than the 1500. And then we'll just save this other blueprint for whenever we get a uh, tech replicator made because we can definitely make it in there so that's it for the crystal what else can we get rid of oil should be good and then a lot of this element dude I've spent so long farming all that element dust man I, I mean at least we'll have some for later that's the good thing so that'll take care of that let's double check do a little bit of math wait is he overloaded now yeah, he's going to be slow flight. Alright, so we're only at 16 slots, so we should have plenty. So I just need to go farm up a bunch of polymer, or the nodules, and then I'll double check. We might have enough metal ingots. Maybe not. So anyways, while we're here, let's take a look at this. So we can take the element dust and craft element shards. The shards are used definitely for using the cloning station and stuff, but you can use a dust and a thousand dust. You can go ahead and make a sheet. And so it'll actually make an element sheet, which we don't need to do on this map because they have the the uh, the things to, uh, what do they call it? They're little nodes that pop up, wave defense for them. So we don't need to make them here, but it is an option. If you end up having a whole bunch of dust left over, just come here and make a bunch of element sheets. Let's go check and see how much metal ingots we got. Oh, uh, dude, he's slow flying for sure. So as you can see, we do have a ton of scrap metal from getting all those lamp posts done. So we got, what, 200 there, 300 here, and 100. Oh, we got plenty. All right, cool. Let's unload him. We'll run out and grab a bunch. Actually, I'm going to trash this crystal because, dude, it's so easy to get crystal, and I don't have the space for it. But let's go ahead, and we'll empty him out. Go out and get the nodules. And come back, and we should be able to get an enforcer made, man. Alright, so these are one of those nodes I was talking about that pops up right there. So those are actually, that's all element. So the, we're not going to go close. So you get too close to it, it will actually start it. We need to definitely get some better mounts before we start doing that. But that's, uh, that's the main source of element on this map. And it's awesome, man. There's You get so much from it. Well, let's take out a couple of these corrupted T-Rexes. They do look awesome, man. I wish you could tame them because their skin, it looks uh, looks pretty neat, though. Only thing is, we are getting very close to a bad, bad area. So right over there is, uh, <laughs> I call it no man's land because, dude, there are corrupted Gigas. And, oh my gosh, they spawn in packs. Yep, Gigas in packs. They're a little bit um, easier to kill than normal ones. But they also have corrupted wyverns that fly over here. So we are definitely... Yep, see there's some of the wyverns there. And dude, they will mess you up. So we're not going to go that way to get our corrupted nodules. So the thing is with the rexes and stuff, you get black pearls. And then you get some leech blood from. Which, there's nowhere to fish over here really, so it doesn't matter. But we're almost there. We're getting there on the nodules. Not too much left. Another thing you have to worry about here is the pterodons. They normally run from you. Dude, the ones here, the corrupted ones, oh, they come for you, man. And if you get in a pack of those, <laughs> dude, that makes for a very horrible day. Yeah, you can see them all up there chasing one of their own. We do have everything we need to make one now. Kind of excited. Haven't messed with these for... That's been quite a while since I was on this map.
And there we go. Crafting one enforcer. Let's go ahead, head back over to base, drop our bird off where she'll be safe. Not gonna worry about those extra nodules we had. Uh, like I said, they're real easy to get out there and they do expire, so no reason to keep them. Actually, we're gonna set her up top here. All right, one enforcer coming up. And there he is. Nice. So it's kind of random on what colors you get from him too. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what's up with the name. But he is a level 76. They do side strafe. Frontwards and backwards. You can see down there is blink. See if I can remember how to do it. Ah, uh, there we go. Right click. So yeah, they can blink and uh, you can climb surfaces with them. And they don't use stamina for that, I don't think, if you just stay there. Yeah, it doesn't use, doesn't use stamina. But they are very, very useful, man. Let's check out his stats. So he came out with uh, only a thousand health. We do need to up that. A thousand on the stamina. Energy is kind of like his food, so he does... <laughs> He does eat elements, so that's a uh, that's a bad thing. But you can throw a couple stacks in here, and it won't be a problem. Damage is only 210. Let's head out. And before we go, try to attack a corrupted creature and see what the damage is on it. Because, like I said, I think it does get a bonus to it. Unless they change something. That was the whole point of Enforcers. But, man, they are fast, dude. Especially with the blink. So the thing is, too, um, ooh, gas bags. We haven't seen those since we've been on this map. The thing is, so they get the bonus for corrupted dinos, but they get, it's, I don't know if it's reduced, but dude, you can get messed up so bad by regular ones. Yeah, see, he does almost 300 damage with just, uh, 200% on the corrupted. Now let's try to find something that's not corrupted, and I'll show you the difference. Hello? Is there anything that's non-corrupted in this world? Ah, oh, here we go, Scorpion. So see, he only does 77 damage against the Scorpion. Versus, you know, 300 for the Corrupted. So these are very good for doing the defense waves because those spawn all Corrupted creatures in. Let's go ahead and smack some of these uh, Rexes around real quick. Do gotta watch their health though, man. Like I was saying, it's it's pretty low. But see, he just wrecked that Rex, man. I mean, it was a low-level one, but still. Oh, and I'm about to lose him. Dude, Blink! Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> so that's what you gotta worry about, man. And I'm about to die, because I'm out here. So they do drop a blueprint, so I can make him again, if this Rex doesn't kill me. Ah, oh, dang it. Where's your blueprint at? <gasps> Do they not drop blueprints anymore? They used to drop a blueprint so you could remake them. Dude, that sucks. And now there's a Rex coming at me. Oh, mistakes were made. It was short-lived with that guy. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can't get out of here. Oh, and there's a scorpion. Yep, yep, I might have messed up here. Shouldn't have gone for the Rexes with such low health. Dude, we're so close to... <laughs> so close to base, I'm out of water. Lost our Enforcer that we literally just built. Ugh, oh, man, I tell you what, that is arc for you, though. That's my fault, though, I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have had him out there with those two Rexes. Seems how he only had a thousand health. But you can see how powerful those things are, especially if you get them leveled up, man. Put uh, put a bunch of your your points into health and damage. Oh, dude. Yep. I know. Let's get over here to this water so you'll quit crying about it. Tell you what, man. Every map I'm on, this guy's always thirsty. Ah, there we go. Nice. Nice, refreshing drink. We did make it back. Luckily, just follow alongside the wall, man. There's usually not any spawns other than little copies. 
What level are you, man? <laughs> I'm in the market for a new enforcer. Level 10. Oh, well. Well, we did make it back here to base, and I did get to at least show you the <laughs> the enforcers, even though he was short-lived. But it's the way it goes, man. You win some, you lose some. Hope you enjoyed the video. Gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.